Okay, today's lesson is on factoring four term expressions. It says the box method there, and there are three examples. Okay, the box method is a method that we are going to use, and factoring four term expressions is just an addition to what we've done in the past, where we're really dealing with binomials, or two term expressions. So let's get started. So the first problem says factor, and you have 2x to the third plus 10x squared minus an x minus 5. And then you see the box down there. So you have two rows and two columns. So the rule when you're doing the box method is that the first term has to go in the top left box, and the last term has to go in the bottom right box. And then the second term of positive 10x squared can go in either the top right or the bottom left. And the negative x just goes in the other one. So I decided to put my plus 10x squared there, and I decided to put my negative x there. And now what we have is we have four different binomials that we are going to factor like you factor a binomial, getting out the greatest common factor. So the first set of binomials is 2x to the third and a positive 10x squared and we factor our greatest common factor out, that would be 2x squared. And I'm just going to leave it on the left side written there. I'm going to go into my next set of binomials. Negative x, negative 5. There isn't anything that goes into negative x and negative 5 other than a negative 1. So therefore my greatest common factor is a negative 1. Now I've done two binomials. Now I'm going to do the third one, a vertical one. 2x to the third and a negative x. 2x to the third and a negative x, the greatest common factor of that is positive x. And then the fourth binomial is a positive 10x squared and a negative 5. And the greatest common factor out of that binomial would be plus 5. Now you'll notice that the purple plus x and the blue plus 5 are both positives, And the orange negative 1 is a negative. The reason why the orange is a negative 1 is because both of the terms, the negative x and negative 5, both had a negative in them. If you notice the purple, only, there was only one negative. And if you notice the blue, there was only one negative with negative 5. So the greatest common factor occurs when they both have a negative sign in them. Now, how do we write this as our answer? Because we have just factored it. So what we're going to do is you're going to make two sets of parentheses to write your binomials in. You have one binomial of 2x squared minus 1. You have the other binomial as x plus 5. The first pair that is going to go in is the larger exponent. So 2x squared minus 1. And then the second binomial is x plus 5. And you have factored the four-term expression, the polynomial, 2x to the third plus 10x squared minus x minus 5. Okay, pause for a second and write that one down. And when you're done writing that down, uh, let's move on to the second example. Okay, so again, we have another four-term polynomial. So the first place that you're going to do is you're going to put the 3x to the third in the top left. You're going to put the negative 3 in the bottom right. And if you remember what I just said on the last one, it doesn't matter where the x squared, the second term, or the negative 9x, the third term, go. So I'm going to move those around just to show you that it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put my plus x squared there, and I'm going to put my negative 9x there. And again, we have four binomials. So let's factor the first binomial. What's the greatest common factor out of those? It's a 3x. Let's look at our second binomial. We have a positive x squared and a negative 3. The greatest common factor out of those two would just be plus 1. Now I'm going to go with my vertical binomials. We're going to go green this time. And we have a positive 3x to the third and a positive x squared. So the largest, greatest common factor on the vertical is plus x squared or positive x squared. And then the last binomials, a negative 9x and a negative 3, Again, they're both negative, so we know that what we're going to factor out is a negative number, and the greatest common factor there is negative 3. Okay, so now we have our binomials. We have an x squared minus 3, and we have a 3x plus 1, and we are going to put them in their answers. So we write our binomials, 
and then we lead with our x squared minus 3, and then we finish with our 3x plus 1. Okay, that's the second example. Moving on to our third example, what I'd like you to do is I would like you to do this one on your own right now. Pause the computer and try to complete it. And then when you're done, uh, let's press play again and you will find the answer. Okay, so pause your computer now and finish this problem. Great, now that you've finished it, you should have an answer. Let's see what you got. I have 2x to the third, negative 6 down there. I did plus 3x squared there and negative 4x there. And then when I do my binomials, I'm going to do vertically this time. My greatest common factor of those two terms would be 2x. My greatest common factor of these two terms would be plus 3. My greatest common factor of my orange or the horizontals would be x squared. And then my greatest common factor of the last binomial, since they're both negative numbers, negative coefficients, it would be a negative 2. Make my binomials. And then x squared minus 2, because you always lead with the largest exponent, and then 2x plus 3. And we have completely factored these. The way that you can absolutely tell whether they are factored or not is do, redo the multiplication. So your orange x squared multiplied by your blue 2x would give you 2x to the third. Your orange x squared multiplied by your purple 3 would give you 3x squared, which you find in that top right box. Your green negative 2 multiplied by your blue 2x would give you a negative 4x, which you find in the bottom left box. And then your green negative 2 multiplied by your purple positive 3 would give you a negative 6, which you find in the bottom right box. And that's how you know that you are correct. Okay, next slide. We have two practice problems here. I would like you to try these on your own, come up with your answer, and see what you get. And then once you do that, we have two more. So pause your computer now, try this one, and then try this one to finish you off. Go over them with your teacher, go over them with your answer, with your classmates, and see what you come up with. But that is how you factor polynomials, four-term expressions, using the box method. Have a good day.